welcome to another edition of Stay Keyed In. I'm your favorite museum director, Keith Fletcher of Mosaic Templars Cultural Center. We're here, we talk about all things Arkansas and Mosaic Templars Cultural Center. What does the Arkansas Arts Council Community Bakery and Sandra Strong have in common? Well, it's the holiday season and we're about to find out. Come on and go with me to Community Bakery. my favorite artist, Sandra Strong. And we're celebrating one of my favorite holidays, Kwanzaa. And in honor of Kwanzaa, Sandra has created this amazing piece. So she's gonna to talk to us a little bit about it. And then we're gonna share some of the amazing things we have going on, the partnership here at Community Bakery. So Sandra, can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind the piece that you created here for us today for the museum? Sure, Key. Um, when creating this piece, one of the things that I thought about was the fact that Kwanzaa allows all of our people, African American people, just anyone, to just come together and just celebrate those principles of Kwanzaa. So immediately, I thought about that the center of this piece would um, be the Kanara and the seven uh, candles representing the seven principles. I thought about the crops, such as the corn, um, the Unity Cup, bringing a gift forth, um, and just bringing together our children, our families, in order to celebrate those principles and the things that make us um, such a unique um, and diverse um, group of people. And like Sandra said, you see all these different beautiful images of Kwanzaa, but not only that, the, the colors of Kwanzaa, and so they really pop. And what really kind of draws my eye to it is immediately the colors in the little girl's hair, the pops of color in the corn. Yes. And so I immediately look at the image and I think about children and I think about family and I can see the little colors of red and green and black, which is for African culture in this piece. Yes. And so it's just really a great example of Kwanzaa and really a great example of culture. Can you talk a little bit about the images and the children in the piece and why you decided to use a boy and a girl and then also why if you don't if you're not familiar with Sandra why the images are created the way they are with, with without the, the eyes and the mouth and the nose okay so when I the reason why I chose the boy and the girl or the children because we all know not to sound cliche but the children are our future and so when I thought about this piece as a whole um, yes we're representing family but we are teaching our children these principles so they can continue to carry our heritage into the future. Um, I tend to think about creativity, Kukumba, um, where we take and beautify the community. We use our creative gifts and purposes in order to beautify and to carry those um, past, um, our, our heritage into the future to continue the beautification. Now, one of the things that I get asked a lot is about why faceless images, and that's because I like to create uh, memories of nostalgia, um, just any memory that everyone can identify with. So we're not looking for one specific person, but I'm looking for anybody to be able to relate to my piece. Right, so whenever you see this, and you're in Arkansas, and you see this particular site, my times out of 10, you are seeing a piece that was created by S.A. Strong herself. So this isn't just an image. We are actually using this art for work here at Community Bakery. You can actually pick up your Kwanzaa cookies this year in partnership with Community Bakery and the Arkansas Arts Council. Again, it's an amazing partnership that we're doing this year. Super excited to be collaborating with Sandra, to be collaborating with Community Bakery, and to be collaborating with the Arkansas Arts Council. So this year for the holiday season, you're hanging out with family, you're hanging out with friends, perfect way to celebrate the season is to pick up one of these images on some cookies here at Community Bakery. Thank you so much, Sandra, for joining us today and sharing a little bit about this amazing piece that you created specifically for Kwanzaa this holiday Thank season. Thank you, Key. It's good to see you again. Good to see you too. So John, one of the things that I, I love about our partnership with you is I love the fact that you are really intentional about working with the community and about representation. Well, I mean, it's not just our name. 
we are a community bakery, but we do feel like we are everybody's bakery. And I don't mean that there's not other great bakeries out there because there are plenty here in Little Rock. Uh, but I think our brand has a unique connection to the, to the city. Uh, partly because of our location, but also because we've been around 75 years. And so we have literally been a part of so many thousands of our cans of special moments. And that's near and dear to us. That really matters to us. And then the other part, I mean, we represent truly the, 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 the makeup of the city. We are an extremely diverse company. Uh, we serve an extremely diverse community. And it is important to us that everybody have representation and that everybody feel not only welcome, but see and heard on how it's really want to sit, sit my feet into these cookies right now. <laughs> but I, I know that I can't. So how how long will people be able to, to, to get the cookies? So first off, the cookies, you can pre-order them now. Uh, they'll be available this evening. And then pickup will be the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, excuse me, before Christmas. Because we're unfortunately, we're closed on the 26th, first day of Kwanzaa. So we wanna make sure people have their cookies to start their celebration appropriately. The other part of this is even if you don't want the whole set initially, we're gonna produce these daily for each day of Kwanzaa. So, so you'll get them nice and fresh and you can swing by and grab one or grab 10, whatever you'd like. If you pre-order, we're gonna make them fresh and have them boxed up on a tray ready for you. Uh, or if you want to just come in every day of Kwanzaa. I love it, I love this partnership. I'm going to stop because I smell it and I'm going to eat one, but I'm not. It's art today. It's art for the sake of art, not for the sake of eating. So make sure you guys get your cookies. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. What's a lonely museum director to do? No cookies, no artists. I'm all alone, but I know I'm not, because I've got you guys. And this is our final keyed in of the year. Can you believe it? It seems like it's gone by like that. But of course, as always, I can't leave you without making sure you're up to date about what's to come. Don't forget, Unboxing Ref Armstrong is almost over, so make sure if you haven't, join us. It closes early in January. And of course, coming up in January is our annual MLK Challenge. It's an opportunity for children ages 12 to 18 to serve like Dr. King. I hope that your family has an amazing holiday season. From the staff at Mosaic Templars Cultural Center and myself, we wish you a happy holidays and enjoy joyous Kwanzaa. We will see you in 2023.